So in today's class, we'll be going through a uh, overlook over errors. What are errors in Java? Now, what about the errors, guys? No one is telling me any answers right now. I'm saying design time error. These are the errors that occur while designing the program. Sarah says yes. These errors will be shown with a red mark in Eclipse ID so that you can easily find and correct it. So do you get an overview of an error from these statements? And not just the semicolons like in the main method if you make the M of the main method capital it will give you an error. In the static keyword if you make S of a static keyword capital it will give you an error. Java is a case sensitive language hence it gives you a syntax error. Okay so let's see a small example right here in only one project that is the final one there is an er error present. Okay so I open it up static keyword S is capital it gives me an error because Java is case sensitive case sensitive capital M in the main method okay it does not give you an error now but previously it would definitely give you an error maybe in the latest versions now it has upgraded okay so I'll just change it back to small itself No. Design time error. These are the errors that occur designing. I've already showed you the example itself. So these are all the design time errors. Now tell me if I place one more semicolon after this, will it give me an error? It won't give you an error. Nothing is there. Just plus place a semicolon like this. It will, it has already ended, it won't give you an error after this, okay? So these are few practical things that you get to know when you actually code, okay? By hit and trial, whenever you are coding, sometimes you put two semicolons at once and then you see, oh my god, it is not giving any error. So you find out one thing. When you place in the next line, even then it won't give you an error, okay? So you have understood what is the design time error. Uh, he wants me to put exclamation mark. It will absolutely give an error. Sorry. Okay. Okay then. So getting back to the presentation, I come to errors, no, logical error. These are the errors done by programmer. That was syntax errors because of wrong syntax. This does not give error because it is, it is a statement terminator, absolutely. So if you just put a semicolon statement as terminated, there was nothing in the statement. So it won't give you an error. The syntax is complete. Okay. That is why it does not give you a syntax error or you can call the design error. Now, what if the syntax is entirely correct, but the logic that you implemented is wrong. So that is termed as logical error. These are the errors done by programmer. The programmers, the programs with these errors will run but does not produce desired results. Okay, you wanted something, it will give you something else because the logic within that is not complete. It is wrong. Okay, like example, getting division of two numbers as output, but expected is multiplication of numbers. Okay, so what do you do? You actually put a wrong logic, you divided the numbers. Now these errors can be rectified by understanding the logic and checking whether it is, it works perfectly or not. So let's see a logical error. Okay, it could be many types. Generally, it happens in complex programs where not where you are not very aware of the logic. You are making a new logic for the new thing. So in that case, so when you implement it, sometimes you put a wrong logic and you receive the errors. Now there is a program. There is a logical error. So let me just run the code, and the answer is six. Right here, this is logical error program. The program is for printing 1 to 5, but it will print 6. Okay, it will be printing the value.